<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here. And today I want to talk about, you know, when you move into a new place and then you said that you sent, you start what activation day or insulation day is what it's normally called. And then you always find out then the place you have to find alternate ways for them to work the things they're going to do. Now the funny thing is, Jordan says, now I can't speak for AT&T or Verizon or, you know, Time Warner Cable, but I can speak for Comcast. They have this, there's always a little waiting game. Of course, that's to be expected. Then Jordan says, you always find out that the easiest part happens to be the cable part. Now, it always seems to be that the telephone and the cable seem to be the easy part, and the internet seems to be the hard part, especially when they, what they have to work with. So it always usually goes down like something like this. Well, okay, I can pretty much cable up the place and telephone the place, but now we're going to have to find some bizarre was our way of interneting the place. Well, yeah, I have an idea, Jordan says. And then you then you present your... Well, I'm not going to say bizarre idea, but then you present your idea basing on the place you're living in and how the rooms are. Um, most likely, Jordan says, if you own your own place, then you're usually okay with them drilling and putting wires through holes. But if you're a tenant and you're renting a third party place, that's usually out of the question. So you should try to find the, another way of dealing with, <coughs> dealing with the, dealing with, with how, with, you know, interneting your house. If you're getting, if it's called getting your house cable ready and your house telephone ready, then you have to call getting your house internet ready too, if that makes any sense. And also, then there's also the question about what type of receivers. Now, in some cases, some people might take the receivers with them. In some cases, they might send them back and get brand new receivers, depending to what package or what deal they went with. It usually goes something like this. Well, one receiver is going to say Comcast on it. The other receiver is going to say Xfinity on it. One was probably going to be the white. One's going to be silver, and one's going to be one of those small flims that says Xfinity on it. But they should do the job. Well, that's nice, Jordan said. Are they do Are they Dolby Digital? Yes, they're all Dolby Digital. And the only last thing, Jordan says basically, as you usually do after that is all done, is always sign off that, yeah, you were there, that they came there, that they serviced the area, that they cable, telephone, internet ready your uh, house or apartment, that, that everything is working right, that you were satisfied, that you liked how, that you were satisfied, that you were happy with the service they gave, and that's the end of it, mostly. Now, Jordan said there's one little thing that some people might say you're leaving out. Um, and there usually is a lot of things that some people might leave out. Um, you said the waiting game. Now, when I said the waiting game, I am talking about the window time when you set up your installation and the hours that they're going to wait for them to come there. That's what I call the waiting game. But Comcast has the thing called the Customer Guarantee Program, where if you set your installation date in a certain hour during that certain day, that they are there to, they'll be there during those set hours, sometimes early, sometimes later. They try to be there pretty early to do the things. <clears throat> now, some people might say, might say that I'm leaving out something. Well, not really, Jordan said. I'm not really leaving too much out. So, I would talk, uh, people say, am I leaving things out? No, I would certainly not be leaving any other details out, you know. 
So that's about it. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you later.